Okay. So my name is Melody and I'm the sales manager for Yabo and I'm based in Shenzhen, China. My name is Corey, I'm the regional sales manager for North America and I'm based in New York, our headquarters for North America. And here we have a very, very new series of Yabo. It is the M series, so it is more compact and we still have the modular design and uh, also we have the LiDAR on the top of the unit. We have the car unit and uh, we have different models. So term, here, this is uh, the best lawnmower? Well, it's not just a lawnmower, that's where people get confused. Mm -hmm. It's not just a singular singular function functioning yard care robot. Does it take my snow also? And yes, it does. Snow? Yes, it does. Yes, 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 and yes. So. Again, so. what we have here is we're just unveiling a more, as Melody was saying, a more compact, cost-affordable option. Mm -hmm. An option that have a property between 0.25 acres to 1.5 acres. This is more for the average Joe and the average American with the property size. Mm -hmm. That's a lawnmower. Yes, yes. So this is a lawnmower module. And uh, this is a collector. Yep. And uh, here, this is a trailer. But uh, this trimmer is for the uh, uh, current version of Yabo, and uh, here this is a plow blade. Yep. And uh, this, this is a plow blade for snow. It could angle 25 degrees in each direction. Um, again, if you're in a state that experiences a lot of snow, I'm saying, again, more than a foot, mm -hmm. I would certainly recommend the snow blower, which we also do have. The world's first autonomous snow blower. We have the world's first autonomous trimmer. And we have the world's first and autonomous leaf blower. And on the collector side of things, Yoruba keeps on coming out with brand new modular accessories. So sky's the limit in terms of what we can do. It's not, it's almost like, what can't we do? Because, oh, so uh, well, it's very, very simple. Um, so, if, Melody? Let me show you how to disconnect it. You have to do this right here, and then. Yeah. Nice. That was the power? Yeah, this is the yep. power. And you can just uh, like. So you just need to do it once every season, no? Well, basically, again. Yeah, so once every day then. You change the modules based on the season. So when it's dead of winter, you're not going to be cutting grass. You're not going to be blowing leaves. You're not going to be trimming the edges of your property. You're either going to be using the snowblower or the angled plow. And the things that we can do and attach to the back of the Arbo are also immense. Think of it this way. You could be plowing snow using your snowblower while having a granular salt spreader on the back salting a property. There's no robot on planet Earth. Do I see cameras here? Yes, those are two cameras, is yes. Is actually going to see where the snow is? Yes, really? of course. Yes. Yes. But again, we don't, want, we don't want you to have to go out and actually tell it to do its job. When you tie the Yarbo with a third-party weather servicing app, and the weather servicing app says snow will start falling at 2 a.m., 4 a.m. It just starts working in the middle of the night. Yes, you, we don't want you. I, we don't want you to have to we watch the news. In the morning, it's ready. Yes. So again, the whole part is. Does it work? Yes, it does work. It does work. Um, and uh, we've been hitting milestone after milestone, and uh, we're happy to be back at CES, and we're okay. happy to actually offer a yard boat. Is it? I would say pretty good, and uh, there's not any other products that they can do uh, do things like Yabo. So yeah, if I have like especially a, for the snowblower. Kind of like a hedge or something like that. It's yeah, it's a and trimmer. Cut in it? Yeah, it can cut the you know the boundaries that the lawnmower cannot cover. Automatic spool feeder, so when it it runs out of spool it'll actually tell you to refeed the spool line. So again, this is just, it's not a proprietary spool. A standard standard spool, standard spool. Mm -hmm. um, just buy one in the shop? Yes, yep, and it, it comes with 23 meters, or it can accommodate up to 23 meters of spool. And, and it looks like it goes it. up and down? Yes. Yep. But is so it automatic or no? You automatic. Automatically. Oh. Well, like no, no, that's cameras? manual. No, it's the, the adjusting of the height from two inches to four inches. Mm -hmm. So again, when you want to change the height, that, uh, that nozzle allows you to change it. So it's mounted to the back, the, the behind of the Arbo. Oh, yeah. And this again- is the same season as a lawnmower, no? Yes, you would- So you have to manually switch once in a while to this? Or no, you don't, because this is in the back and the mower's in the front. So if you have ah, one- they run at the same time. Yes, they run at the same time. So if you have a summer season, you don't have to switch out your modules until it's fall where there's leaves, or it's winter where there's snow.
But what does this one do? Is this also in the back? Yes, it's also in the back, and this is a collector, so this collects any debris, uh, your grass clippings, your leaves, your twigs, pine needles, up to 55 pounds. Automatic dumping. So you tell, you can map in your pro in your property where you want the leaves to be dumped. Back left, back right, wherever you want the leaves to be dumped, the machine will dump them when it reaches 55 pounds, and then continue to collect them. So again, sky is the limit. So I want to be uh, buying this together with the neighbors, like a bunch yeah. of neighbors going together and invest. Does it make sense? Um, uh, well, if a bunch of neighbors actually chip in, that'd actually be a great idea. Because again, the robots never get tired. Robots never ask for overtime. And the question is how, how much grass it can do between its charge, and then yep. it goes charge automatically? Yeah, so our standard series Yarbo, the max coverage it can do, and any, any series that we offer is 6.2 acres per week. That's two cuts. So it doesn't matter if it's four houses with one acre each or five houses with one acre each. The max cut coverage per Yarbo, not this M series, but our standard one, 6.2 acres. And it, this one also has the 3D cameras right there. Uh, it still has the cameras, yes. Cables in the in the on the ground. Yes. Yeah, so now this one's slightly different than the ones we have currently online. Um, and the main difference that we have on this model is the lidar. So again, this is actually very very big. Very, very, very big function here because this allows for the camera or this allows for the robot to have 360 degree ultrasonic radar detection, not just the front or the back or left or right. So, it must be very expensive. No, no, no. The, the sole purpose we've listened to our customers, we've asked our customers, What can we do to improve? What can we do better? What can we make better? And we've heard them. And what that has led is to us producing something that's more compact at our most cost affordable option. This is something that every American can afford. Every American. And if I want the whole package, the whole everything as a combo? Um, did you say it comes in a bundle? Like, or does yeah, it bundle of all the different things? Yeah, so that's, we do have a, a bundle and save price mentality. The more modular attachment you get, the better pricing you get. Is like a couple pounds or much more? Um, so right now, the final MSRP is still being factored in and determined, but it's gonna range anywhere from uh, $2,500 to $3,000. That's where we're going to put our price point right now. So if I get five or six neighbors together and they pay every year for getting their smoke? Their, their ROI will be one season. One season, their ROI. It paid off. Yeah. And again, that's... So I have landscaping companies um, that... A lot, a lot of landscapers where they want to do fleet service, where they want to basically drop off the robots and have them just do what they need to do, pick up the robots when they're done, and charge them and go on to the next one. So landscapers and having autonomous robots do the work is, is increasing. And do you provide 10-year warranty? No, we provide two years warranty, but you can, yeah, two years, but you can buy the extended warranty uh, from Yabo. Up to five, Yabo. up yeah. to five. five years. Yeah, so when now we're talking about a modular autonomous robot that can be outside 24 seven, and I'm offering you a five-year warranty, that means that we have confidence in our product. Yeah. And what's, what's missing? People want more? Oh yeah, there's a, there, there's a whole different Yarbo universe out there. Um, and there's like a community a, of uh, feature requests. Oh, there, there, there is there's a, there's an unlimited amount of attachments that we get come and think of. It's, the sky's the limit. Again, there's, it's almost like we can't, we can't come out with them as fast as we want to, because we have to let the consumers digest. How popular are you in the market? Are you like one of the leaders? Um, yeah, hands down, unquestionable. Yes. Uh, un unquestionable because it's not, again, it doesn't just cut grass as you said. So there's many tens of thousands of customers uh, in yeah, the US? I would say, uh, yeah, yeah, we are but uh, the, year over year. For much more. Well, 100%. There's 300 million people here, right? Well, Yarbo did it actually kind of interesting. They actually attacked America last. We have our greatest presence in Europe and Southeast Asia and Asia in general, um, but Yarbo did it backwards. They said, let's go to the wealthiest nation, the nation that spends the most, last. And right now as- and That's your job right now, right? My job is to You're find dealers. Are attacking this market? Not attacking. Looking to find people with the opportunity that want and have the same vision as I do, which is this is the future, it's not going to change, and Yarbo's here to stay. And it's very safe, it's not gonna kill the dogs or no. the cats or- No, so we have uh, up to eight safety features when it uh, when you add them all up, uh, whether it's 
the six cameras, whether it's the ultrasonic radar, whether it's the obstacle avoidance. Uh, again, we had to have pass rigorous safety tests to have an autonomous snowblower with the propeller that is humming at you know many many rpms it would be cool if you added the fox catcher module that could, could be something be that could be something we could look into it but i've had people ask us or ask me very weird questions oh could they put a rifle on it can they you know paint it different colors can they can they name their yarbos and yeah if they put one with their American flag on it. Well, yes, punch. that is true. <laughs> good, that is a good idea. That is a good idea, Nicholas. And also sings the national anthem. It's well, yes, uh, that is, uh, yeah, that's our Joe July 4th promotion. That's a good one. I'm, I'm already thinking of that July 4th. But yeah, Nicholas, you know, um, Yarbo is certainly uh, at the forefront in terms of modular capabilities. Multi-purpose functionality. That's the key word I want you to leave off with here. Multi-purpose. Everyone else is singular functionality. Singular. So we're here to stay. Sky's the limit. And uh, Nicholas, do you have any questions? Be happy to answer them.